this is Chelsea Marks, and I'm filming for VETT 222, task number 12, which is um, perform ear cytology. So we have our OCCI certificate right here um, for Evergreen Veterinary Hospital. And we have our patient here, um, and we're going to perform ear cytology on the right ear. We have a tray of supplies here, just in here. Um, which are slides, uh, cotton applicative applicators and saline, and some gauze. And um, this will be for the staining portion, but our uh, lighter. So the first portion we're going to do is pre-moisten cotton tip applicator with some saline. And then we're going to introduce it into the ear of the patient, not real deep, just getting a good sample. We have a pretty good sample here, I'll bring it up. And then we're going to show rolling the sample onto a slide. So just single strokes, rolling it back and forth. And then we will be back to stain this and uh, look at it microscopically. Okay, so this is Chelsea again, and we're going to um, go ahead and film the staining of the ear cytology slide. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in down here so you can see my supplies, which our um, the lighter, and we have our slide, and we have our diff quick stain. So let's adjust this so we can see a little bit better. So we're going to take our sample slide, and it's been air drying a little bit, and we're also just going to wave it around in the air. And then we're going to quickly flame it, just to get that fixed there. And then we're going to introduce it into our stain. So we have our diff quick here. Good. Put on some goggles since we're using the stain. And we're going to go ahead and start dipping it. So we have our um, patient sample here. I'm going to label it with his name, the date, and his patient ID number. That's okay. So we have it clearly labeled there, and we're going to start dipping. So we start in the fixative, 10 dips in that, Four. eight, nine, ten. that's 10 one second dips, draining the excess off, and then moving to the next stain. Ten. And then draining the excess off again. And then moving to our last stain, so we're going to do 10 one second dips in that one as well. Okay, and then draining the excess off. So we're going to go over to our water here. And gently rinse the slide. to air dry, butt end down, right there. We will be back to read that slide as soon as it's dry. We have our sample here on the microscope stage and we've looked around. Um, what I'm mostly seeing um, is a little bit of epithelial cells and bacteria. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain um, a little bit about what I'm seeing because I can't show you on the microscope. So I'm going to explain here. So this is kind of a good representation of what I'm seeing here. So this pink arrow right here is yeast. So I'm seeing just a little bit of yeast, which otherwise known as malassezia. Um, I'm also seeing here this blue arrow, this big section here. So those are um, epithelial cells that slough off during the collection. Um, here's a better uh, picture of Malassezia, um, which is a fungal infection, so that's the yeast. So this is a really good um, representation of what I'm seeing here. Um, a little bit of scattered bacteria as well, um, some diplococci. So we're going to go over those right now, which are um, really commonly found on ear cytology for felines and canines. So um, these are the bacteria. So there's can be there can be just a coccus, which is one. Diplococci, which is two, um, Staphylococci, which is a cluster, 
and streptococci, which is a chain. So commonly um, found bacteria is just the gram-positive cocci um, on the um, slide. So that would be your little um, diplococci around here. Uh, not the bigger, fatter ones, those are yeast, but the smaller um, two uh, cocci put together are the diplococci. So um, those also worth mentioning, um, gram stain blue. So I've done them in blue. So the other type, you can see the other type of bacteria is um, the gram staining red, which is the bacillus. So we have our um, streptobacilli, we have just a regular bacillus, which is one. We have a diplobacilli. Um, so commonly found organisms in the canine and feline ear would be Proteus mirabilis, which is a gram-negative um, bacteria, and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. <laughs> yeah, I butchered that. So um, those are both gram-negative, and so they gram stain red, so I've done this in red. Um, so I believe I saw um, diplobacilli um, on our slide there.